Part 13, Brian Austin Lambert on the Flat Earth. Who am I? I'm just another normal dude. I am no guru, prophet, savior, or anything else. I am just a dude who has always been extremely curious in how things worked. I have a very curious mind and would get extremely frustrated with the answers the controllers gave me. Nothing ever made any sense to me. I knew there had to be another answer to the garbage that I was taught. I was that super smart kid that everyone cheated off of in class. I could recite anything and everything. My mind was like a sponge. I knew every ounce of trivia and knew all the theories and beliefs. And yet I could still not come up with the correct answer to the model of everything problem. For leisure, I would do anything that challenged my mind. I love trying to solve anything. I never let my mind atrophy. I always challenged it to keep it sharp and working properly. My background, grew up in a small town on an orchard, normal kid, really liked girls, played sports, hence the love of 33, graduated high school, 3.8 GPA, enlisted in the army for college money, 1991, light infantry, M60 machine gunner, whoa! Combat veteran, Smalley, 90, 1993, three humanitarian service awards, honorable discharge in 94. College of 1995 to 98, hated it. Wasted time and money, 176 out of 180 credits for BA in ancient history. School wouldn't accept my passing AP exam in economics, so I was pissed and didn't finish my degree. Didn't care about their worthless piece of paper because I knew I learned nothing there anyways. Worked a whole bunch of odd jobs throughout the years. Here are the main ones. Managed large dog kennel starting in 99. Counting manager American Red Cross started in 05. Starting uh, inventing in 07. Started business in uh, 13. With plenty of jobs and night jobs in between to make ends meet. Seems like I've done everything from logging with a chainsaw and excavator to working in a pathetic cubicle. I've delivered pizzas and I've picked up dog shysta for a living. So I think that... That makes me a pretty normal dude. I am broke and have a ton of debt. Yep, I'm normal. People have made a lot of comments, but the overarching negative ones have been this. It is impossible for anyone to figure out everything. That is why everyone else failed. I knew I could do it. Every problem has an answer. It just depends on how much pain and suffering one is willing to endure. And I can endure. Plus, I never said I figured out everything. I said I have the 100% correct working model of everything. Words, people. They have meanings for a reason. I also have an unwavering confidence in my mind and in myself. I know I can do anything because I do not set limitations upon myself. I feel sorry for the people that do because they are the ones that place the shackles of bondage upon themselves. Now I'll tell you the secret and why I succeeded and no one else did. I cheated. I listened to the elders, sages, prophets, and other ancient teachers' writings and I listened to what they were actually saying and not what the controllers wanted me to know. That is where humility comes into play. When you humble yourself completely and realize you don't know Jack Shysta, then you can hear what the words are saying and the messages being conveyed. My humbling came back in 2013. My epiphany came while working on the problem of light in my garage. I had never even seen a video on the flat earth. But the answer came to me and it hit me like a ton of bricks. The surface had to be flat. My world just got turned upside down. I'm a manly man and very rarely cry, but I broke down and cried for at least an hour. I just realized everything I was taught was either a lie or false. The death of my worldview was in full force. With the death comes the five stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. So I suffered and humbled myself. Then quickly, everything started to fall into place. The key to the puzzle was the flat surface. Everything was solved in my model by late 2013, except for one thing, the moon. 
So all the things you are seeing now, I have kept to myself since 2013. I was not prepared for what I was learning. It weighed heavy on me, hence this passage, Ecclesiastes 118 King James Version. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. How was I able to solve the problem while no one else could? Well, I'm glad you asked. Like I said, I have been working on the problem for the correct working model of everything since I was seven at various levels, various levels and stages. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. While everyone else was looking at the tiny slice of their pie and being compartmentalized, I was looking at the whole pie. I was looking at the forest from afar while everyone else was looking at the trees from inside of the forest. The eyes can't see what the mind doesn't know. I could see clearly after my humbling because I had eyes to see and ears to hear. Nearly 40 years of research. Here are some of the subjects I researched and tried to understand. Ancient and modern history, geography, economics, political science, all religions, mythology, legends, folklore, art, architecture, literature, biology, botany, anatomy, animal and human behavior, psychology, chemistry, physics, cosmology, ge geology, and among many, many others. That is why I keep telling all of you to be patient. To get the truth, you have to build the foundation. I am not doing this for people that think they already know the answers. I am doing this for everyone. So please stop being selfish and be patient. There are plenty of other things you can research on YouTube if you need to kill time. Plus, I already have given you all the answers in the first few videos through the images and pictures. Again, the eyes can't see what the mind doesn't know. But as we progress and you learn the foundation, then you will be able to look back and see. The truth will be clear at the end, but I told you getting there can be tough. Now imagine my plight. I had no one to help me except ancient writings. Then I had to figure out what was legit and what was fake. Not an easy task. In order for me to teach you the model of everything, you have to learn the basics of the model first to see the truth of everything. You have to learn how to crawl before you can walk. How do I know my model is 100% correct? Because I tested it through real science, what the ancients warned and foretold, and I could not debunk it. Trust me, I tried. I equate it to turning in a math test that I knew I scored 100% because I checked all of my work. I know I am right. You will all have doubts because you didn't do the work. So your confidence will not be the same as mine. But in the end, you will know that I was 100% correct. I have never kept any notes or reference material at all to any of my work on this for many different reasons, but mainly because I don't need to. I have a really high IQ and I can remember all this stuff and just pull it from my mind. Mia and I decided just over a month ago to disseminate this truth. So I am doing each topic daily straight from my head. The order I am disclosing is the only order that can be taught. You have to learn certain truths before you can grasp the following truths. It is the only way I know how to get people to understand. Plus, you are actually watching a movie being made. I will be editing all the parts together to make a longer movie. So you're getting the truth well in advance to when it should have been, uh, came out. Comment section. I approve all comments. Keep them clean and respectful. I will not get distracted or diverted. If you bring up gravity, have a merry effing Christmas. I will get to the point where I will not be reading them and commenting. It's just too time consuming. If you make me mad, I will banish you to Elba.